Hi guys and welcome back to Keep Smiling Adventures and today we are going to be going over this this device the Wahoo Element Roam. Now I have had this a little over one year now and if you have watched lots of my videos you will know I'm always always complaining about this. So in this video we are going to go through everything I hate about the Wahoo Element Roam because well I don't like it. Right, let's get into this video. Okay, the first thing I want to mention about the Wahoo Element Roam and the thing that I really hate about it is when you are following a route, and I will try and show it on screen right now, and you're like following the route and then you come to a stop. Maybe you want to stop to have a look at that route or maybe you've just paused you look down at your map and what has happened? Well, it's rotated. For some reason, every time you, or 90% of the time, when you pause a ride on here, when you are following a route, it does like either 180 degrees or a 90 degree turn. So then you can't actually see the route. It's not pointing that way. It's normally pointing behind you. And obviously all you can do is zoom in and out. But if you zoom out, you can't actually see behind you. You just sort of see further and further front of you kind of um, so yeah you it literally as you are riding you come to a stop it finally kicks in the auto pause sometimes that takes absolutely forever by the way um, and then it just does an annoying rotation which is is really annoying when you're trying to follow a route and you, you stop to deliberately check the route and then it just rotates and then the only way to get it back to rotate so it's in front of you again is to go forward um yeah it's it's really annoying okay the second thing i really hate about the wahoo is well for me i do a lot of long distance rides rides that typically i can be on a bike for 24 hours and i might be following a route for 24 hours or more multiple day trips and well i find this thing crashes so many times now i will say i've never lost a ride while it's crashed it just crashes it either freezes and then i just have to turn it um end ride and turn it off and restart it before it starts again or i've had it where it's crashed and then it's spent about 20 minutes recovering the ride both really annoying and irritating, um, but yeah, it's crashed so many times. I think the last three, four big rides that I've done, it's crashed every time. It crashed the other day on the South Downs Double, and that was only like halfway into it, about 50 miles when I was following a route. It crashed when I went as far north as possible, and it's always a pain because I'm obviously filming these videos for you, and I want to be able to give you stats live on camera while the video is playing, and if it crashes, I literally have to start the ride again, and I don't, you know, when I've been up for 24 hours or more, I can't remember all the stats and it's just a pain and yeah it's just not been a reliable device for me it's crashed so so many times and that brings me on to the third thing i really hate about the wahoo is well it has a really cool aero out front mount just like garmin just like the crew or whatever it's called all the other them all of these gps devices nowadays have like these nice out front mounts and ideally that would be your mount of choice to use but as i said before i ride long distance and i need to be able to charge that device while riding and guess what it does not allow you to um fit a cable into the device while it is in the out front mount at least with like the the standard you know just straight um cable i know you can get ones that go sort of but you know it's not the one that's supplied with it and they're a bit you know you have to go and go spend money on them it's just a pain i don't know why it couldn't have just been a little bit further from the bars so it could be charged while riding using the out front mount because basically, whenever I'm doing a ride now, I cannot use the out front mount.
That brings me on to the fourth thing I really, really dislike about the Woohoo Element Roam is because, as I said before, I can't use the out front mount because I need to be able to charge it while riding. So the other option Woohoo give you is a little puck mount. Garmin do these as well, but the difference is Woohoo makes you use cable ties to um, put these on your bike. And they also only give you one, like my old Garmin, I swear I've got about 20 of them because it just came with so many. And, it, and the Garmin one also just uses some little rubber, um, little, I don't know what you call them, rubber bands, and you can just strap them. And it's so easy to just take them, switch them bikes. And I'm obviously switching bikes from my Sonda to the bomb track quite often. And because it only comes with one mount, I'm constantly going through about a million zip ties. So yeah, I really just hate how to use zip ties. They're annoying, they're a pain. Just why didn't they just make it with some usable elastic band type things like Garmin did? And why do they only give you one? It's bloody stingy. Another thing I really dislike is, well, moving through the data screens. You can only go one way, so if you are on the map, say, and you want to go back, like for me, I have the, the main data screen, then the map screen, then the elevation, um, and then miles to go, and then back to the data screen. So if I'm on the map screen and I want to get back to the data screen where it has all my speed and average speed and all that fun stuff, I have to go next, next. Next, next, and quite often when you're riding, you hit next too many times and you go past it again. So you have to keep going and it's just annoying. Why can't I just be able to go left and right? It's a pain. Really, really frustrates me. And when you've been up for like 24 hours, it just, yeah, it just hurts your brain. Right, and this one, this one really bugs me and I really, really hate it because the feature is actually built into this device. So it's definitely possible to be able to do, but you can't actually do it. So the Wahoo has a option for take me to. And with that, you can scroll around the map and say, yes, take me to here and it will take you to there. It will allow you to route yourself to there. Now, it's not the route in that annoys me. What annoys me is that when you are following a route, you cannot do that same scrolling around the map to see what is coming up. All you can do is zoom in and out. The features there just allow me to do that while I'm following a route because the last thing I want to do is keep going into my phone to check the map. When I'm on multi-day rides, I typically turn this phone off. I keep it on me, but I turn it completely off. So I keep this battery charged for like two or three days without literally, I barely turn it on. I literally just at night really, and that's about it. But if I have to constantly keep going into that, then why the hell am I gonna bother using the Roam? I might as well just use the phone in the first place because I don't want to keep two batteries charged. I would much rather just be able to just let me scroll on the map and see what's coming up. I don't want to have to use my phone to check what's coming up. It really, really annoys me. You can see how wound up I'm about this one. Right, let's, let's continue. Right, let's continue this rant because there's another thing that I really hate about this Wahoo and that is when you finally are riding and you have it charged, guess what? It doesn't even display that it's charging. So you actually have no idea and I use dynamos quite a lot so I want to keep an eye on that, make sure it is charging, it is working. It doesn't show it, you can't see it on any of the data screens or on the map page. So the only way to actually check that it is charging is you have to go into like the menu page or you have to go while you're on the route page, you have to like click route info and then it will show it at the top. Why don't they just have that little logo that turns green when it's charging on the actual like data screens? And yeah, I just, it's so bloody dumb. So that is another thing I really, 
really hate and it really bugs me when I'm riding with the Wahoo, especially when I'm using a dynamo. I can't tell if it's charging. I just wanna be able to look down and go, yeah, it's still charging, that's fine. No problem, but no. They make me have to actually press buttons to check that it is on charge. Useless. Connection to Wi-Fi. Oh my God, I have pulled my hair out so, so many times trying to get this thing to connect to Wi-Fi. And you need it to connect to Wi-Fi to load your roots onto here. Oh, and honestly, it just drives me insane. You can spend, some days it will just connect. It will just be instantly, you'll, press, you'll turn on the Wi-Fi, it connects to your Wi-Fi, fine. Other days you can sit there for ages and it will not connect. You can forget your networks, you can start, you can connect them again and it just never connects. Most of the time it's better to be using like your mobile and use like a personal hotspot. But still, even then, I still have to forget that network quite often to start like to redo it. And it, it's just like, come on, it's Wi-Fi. We're in 20, nearly 2022, Wi-Fi should work. Now this one isn't really a thing I hate about Wahoo, but I wanna share it because it's something I really, really miss from having a Garmin before. And that, I think it was called the virtual partner or visual partner. Basically, what that did was when you would ride somewhere and you recorded that route, you could create that as a route. So when you're riding that route again, you can see exactly where you were um, with your speed and time, and you could basically race yourself. Now, it's a bit like Strava segments, but just for yourself. And it was great fun for me, especially especially when commuting through the night. I used to finish work at like 10, 11 o'clock at night. I used to cycle home about 25 miles, and I could have that route, and I could like try and race myself, get home even quicker, and I could see where I actually was, if I was behind or in front, and I could literally race, and it was so much fun. The Woohoo just doesn't have anything like that. I don't know if any other um, GPS units have stuff like that, but yeah, it's just a lot of fun and something I really, really miss um, from not having a Garmin anymore. Okay, we're gonna come to the end of this rant now. But I've got one more thing to say, and that is, well, I'm obviously not sending this back because I can't, I can't get hold of Wahoo. I've emailed them so many times, I've explained problems with it, um, crashing, all that, never had an email back. Absolutely non-existent customer service. Because they're not responding, that's why I'm making this video, sharing with you guys everything I literally just hate about the Wahoo element, Rome. Right guys, so that was my hating on the Wahoo Element Rome. I hope you don't um, hate me for hating on it, but you know, that has been my experience with it and that is my brutal, honest opinion on this Wahoo Element Rome. So until next time, keep smiling, enjoy the adventures. Peace.